This video is brought to you by Ace of 12 Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. This uh, is just like words, so if you want it to be bigger, then you have to put a big number like 50 or something. Okay, so now it's really huge. It's even bigger than our header, which we don't want, so I'm just going to reduce that down to about 20. Okay, so that that's bigger than it was before, but it's not bigger than our header. So, um, it's pretty good, I think. And, um, I think it all looks right. Yep. Oh, and remember, we've got to close our div tag, don't we? So I'm just going to close the div tag here. If, if you notice, this is Arial, but this has gone back to Times New Roman. That's because we forgot to change the div tag. We forgot to close the div tag, sorry. Okay, so, um, there we go. Oh. Is that wrong? Whoops, I want to close the div tag here. Sorry. So, forward slash div. Okay, so now all this text is the same. Um, for some reason, this is still Times New Roman, which uh, it shouldn't be. Maybe that's because I have to input it here, so dash family is Arial. Okay, there we go. So it's back to Arial now. Sometimes you just have to um, input it right into the tag because sometimes it just doesn't like the way you've positioned it. You always have to be careful where you position the tags because the order can matter as well. Um, separate div tags in um, like this will actually override what's in here. So I think that's why it was going back is because I've accidentally overrided this with this which didn't say what font it was so it just went back to the default times new roman so um, just be careful when you play around with that stuff um, this has concluded my tutorial I'm afraid uh, so um, oh I've just noticed something as well this has come unindented because yes so we'll have to redo that text indent text indent is 10 pixels oops did I do something wrong there there we go okay so we got our 10 pixel indent um, anyway as I was saying this is um, just about concluded this tutorial and the next tutorial I'll be going through classes um, there's also a span tag we're going to be looking at. Uh, we'll be, be going through how you can make your text bold. Um, some of you may know the default bold tag, which is just B. Uh, that's not really in use anymore. We use CSS now. So I'll be showing you how to do that stuff. Um, borders, horizontal rules. Actually, I'll just include this horizontal rule here. It's a very simple thing. What, what you can do is you can just HR doesn't require closing so we're going to put that um, forward slash after okay and if we refresh it here's our horizontal rule we can um, size that down so um, I think width oops in front of that forward slash there width equals uh, what should we do um, let's say 50 pixels and then we can do the color as well is um, green Okay, so it's reduced itself to 50 pixels. Uh, maybe I have to put that in quotation marks. No. Let's try red. No. Well, there's some way of doing it. <laughs> maybe I haven't put this. I put the semicolon there. No. Okay. Well, um, just look up how you can change the color of the horizontal rule. There is a way, I know, I've done it before. But um, that's just how to do some horizontal rules. Um, you heard what I'm going to be doing in my next tutorial, so this has been a tutorial about SIP 12 over and out. So, horizontal rule. So, just go to the next line. So, HR for horizontal rule. And, uh, whoops, uh, it doesn't need closing, so you just put that forward slash, whoops, forward slash. And then close the tag. So if we control save, 
Okay, so here we have our horizontal rule. Um, but we want it to be smaller, let's say. So we're just going to reduce the width to... Uh, this is in pixels, by the way. So I'm going to say 100 pixels. Okay, so control C. Okay, so there we go. We have an 100 pixel horizontal rule. And we want the color to be... Let's say the color is... Um, yellow. No, red. Okay, so we've got a red horizontal rule. And... Um, yeah, so that's just how you can do horizontal rules. Um, instead of doing pixels, you can also do percentage. So, um, what this what this actually means is if someone has the page like this and they're closing it, it will stay however much a percentage it's been input. So, uh, I'll just show you as an example. If we put 30%... Oops... 30% there. Okay, so that's 30%. And as we close it, it stays 30%. So it gets smaller as we close it, but that's the smaller it is, it's still 30%. So that's that's a useful little thing there. Useful little tool to know. Um, anyway, this has uh, concluded my tutorial. This has been a tutorial by 12 over and out.